Oh. I'm going to go to bed soon. So, this is Sleep Easier 15. So it's about breathing. How do you know you're breathing? Can you feel the air going into your nose? If you breathe through your, your, your mouth, that tends, I think, to um, make you excited. It's, it's, uh, it's better to have a air going in through your nose. And there's apparently a whole bunch of physics stuff that says that we need a carbon dioxide for the blood uh, to be able to get the oxygen in our blood or for the, for the oxygen to go into our blood and then come out of our blood for our brain or our eyes or whatever. And so um, learning to breathe through your nose is a really good way to increase your amount of sleep. And what I do is I put a piece of tape across my mouth sometimes, especially if I'm really scared, and <sighs> breathing like that. And so I put the piece of tape across my mouth and I put a little piece so I can pull it off in case I get frightened. Um, and then I force myself to just lie there and breathe through my nose. And it's hard at first. Sometimes it's snot and stuff like that goes up there. And it's a very special kind of breathing because you breathe in and you hold your breath a little bit. And then you slowly, and here's a big secret, you breathe out through your nose more than you breathe in through your nose, longer. And then you hold your breath a little bit. And then you slowly breathe in again and slowly breathe out again and hold your breath. And it's a great way to calm down. And I use it to lower my blood pressure. I have blood pressure problems now. Um, you know, old age and some of the medications I take are designed to lower my blood pressure and some of the medications are to raise my blood pressure. It's all very confusing, but it's keeping me alive and I'm very grateful. Um, so uh, you could check out a, 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 web, a, a, a thing, B-U-T-E-Y-K-O, uh, which was the name of a Russian doctor uh, who was sent off to prison by the Russian government um, because he spoke up against, uh, against um, the c way communism was being practiced. And um, uh, he had no medicines to help people, and he was sent there to basically be worked to death. Uh, and he managed to stay alive. And he learned this business about building our bodies uh, capacity to have more carbon dioxide. And when we breathe through our mouth, we lose carbon dioxide. And so it's a little tiny tip, but I hope that you find it very, very useful. And I hope you look up Pateco Breathing. And my friend Robert Littman, he teaches this stuff and he, and he he's worth looking for his, his website. And I can't remember how to spell his name right now or I'd spell it out for you, but he's a good guy and he really knows his stuff. And he was my Pateco teacher. And uh, I found it to be one of the most useful tools for sleeping and for blood pressure and all kinds of stuff. Um, for focus, you know, when I get too scattered or I get really tired, that builds my energy. Remember, it's got to be through your nose. And what's interesting, if you watch professional athletes these days, especially runners, you'll see a lot of them running with their mouths closed. So it's worth some curiosity, okay? So please make your videos about what makes your life easier and send them to me and I'll try to help you get your ideas out there too. Okay, bye.